Hey there folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business and today we are going to talk about QuickBooks point of sale purchase orders, creating and sending a purchase order to your vendor, which notifies them, I want these things, so send them to me and bill me, right? Real quick, I'm going to pop into the vendor list here and today we're going to work with a purchase order for a company called Sweet Merch. I'm just going to show you here that I have filled in uh, numerous details for this vendor, which is kind of important first. And I'm going to, we got Bob Brown here is my contact at Sweet Merch. And then we've got his email and his address and all of his, and then our account number. Uh, that might be important, depends on how your vendor works. Uh, but right here we have our account number with Sweet Merch. So, then we're going to pop on over to purchase orders. We're just going to click on purchase order. It's going to bring up the purchase order screen. We're going to choose the vendor, which is going to be Sweet Merch. Uh, this purchase order is going to be open. And then if you have the products that you want to order from them, you can go ahead and scan them if you already have them and you're running low. Otherwise, you can search for them uh, by just typing in uh, part of the name or something like that and you would just go ahead and click on it a lot of people are ordering brand new stuff they've never had it before in their store so when they're creating a purchase order they're actually also going to be adding new products by clicking on add new that's going to pop us into an item creation screen and you can go ahead and create a new item as you're creating the purchase order I'm actually not going to do that because creating an item is something that we do in a different video so it seems like a waste of time here so i'm still on po number three here for sweet merch i'm just going to choose a couple of products to order from them uh, if you need to create the products go right ahead so i'm just going to order two different shirts from sweet merch um, i'm going to order four of those and two of these and we can see down here our total of our order is going to be $69.24 if we have any special instructions for Bob we can type them here these are my instructions fold the shirts twice I don't know and if you'd like to you can have certain terms for your vendor if your vendor is a uh, net 30 net 45 net 90 whatever uh, then it'll automatically let us know when our payment due date is later on in in the workflow um, but otherwise that's pretty much it you're just going to fill out your purchase order here i'm going to hit save real quick oh that shouldn't have closed that mm. All right, so now that we're all set with our purchase order, I'm going to hit the email button. This is going to pop up in my Windows email program automatically. Let's see where that is. Okay. So automatically it pops up in my Outlook. Whatever you have for a Windows email program, it'll automatically pop up in that. So here you can see it has uh, Bob's email address and we have the purchase order number and the account number and a little message here and it'll send it off to Bob once we hit send and he should go ahead and process the order for us we should receive it you know in a few days or a week or however long it takes Bob to get us our merchandise I'm going to double click on the document so you can just see a little preview here quickly of what it looks like <clears throat> this is pretty plain uh, in the print designer you can actually I mean spruce this up if you want but this is such a utilitarian document that I don't think you probably need to do too much special to your purchase order Bob doesn't care what it looks like so um, this would actually have your address in it that you put into the point of sale as your company address apparently I didn't fill one in but then we got uh, Bob's information here and special instructions that we put in so Bob will receive this, he'll process it, he'll bill your account or send you an invoice and he'll send you your products that you ordered. And it is that easy. Um, in the near future here, you will also see a video of 
how you receive that information, how you receive that product when it shows up on your doorstep using receiving voucher. I'm also going to mention here that if you want to look at purchase orders that are still open or outstanding, you just go to the PO list and look at it and you can see that our new order that we created just now is right here on the bottom. That's it for creating purchase orders and sending them to your vendors. It's pretty simple, um, very powerful way to track what you've ordered and when it should show up. And uh, we'll move on next to receiving it. Thank you. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to check out the links below and join up with our QuickBooks Point of Sale Knowledge Group on Facebook where you can ask other questions or get other point of sale users' opinions on your different problems and situations in point of sale. Thanks. Have a great day.